And this is what titos of Manila like to do when they want to de-stress during weekdays. Grown men like to play with their swords. So again, this is Mick Achenza of Fight Saber. Mick, thanks so much for having me. May the force be with you. Okay, so uh, these guys are part of the group called Fight, Fight Saber, Saber Philippines. Philippines yes. and, and Fight Saber Philippines is actually, you were saying, a Lucas Films recognized, recognized group. group. So what George Lucas sends Jar Jar Binks <laughs> over and what, what does he do? How do you guys become accredited over here? Actually, I think it, it has to be applied online. Uh, a group uh, comes together, then submits their stuff to Lucas Film for approval. Then once they're approved, ayun, kasama na sila sa list of approved. Uh, Star Wars costuming groups like uh, 500 First Legion oh, okay. and Rebel Legion. So you're, you're part of that overall uh, Star yes. Wars family, community. universe community. community here yes. in the Philippines. So how many are you guys of Fight Sabers here in the Philippines? Right now we are at around 30 members. 30 members? Wow! Yes. And is there sort of like a qualification? Do you have to have like, enough midichlorians in your blood? <laughs> well, how do you become a member of the, of the Fight Saber Philippines? To be a member of Fight Saber Philippines, well, we don't actively recruit, but <clears throat> once we like, uh, we do it on a referral system. Um, if you have some friends that you, you think can perform well and has a dual grade lightsaber and a costume that's like Passable with five uh, first standards and Rebel Legion So it standards. has to be uh, movie accurate. Yes, like it then. has to be movie okay. accurate. And how intense are the practices like? Um, we practice here every Tuesday and we uh, apply different disciplines like uh, calisthenics. Uh, we we work out our core, our upper bodies, and our leg work. We do a lot of leg work here. And it's a, it's a I, I would say it's a holistic approach to like fitness. So this should actually work out. So you're actually working yes. out while you're you're yeah, working out. You're a, you're a Jedi who works out. Yes. Oh, that's not that's not so bad. Uh. And what I understand, the very interesting thing about you guys here in Fight Saber is that one of the guys who actually helped found Fight Saber Philippines was in the Star Wars movies. Oh yes, that's Mr. Elric Jundis. Okay. Uh, he was a Jedi actor in Attack of the Clones. Oh wow. He was used for many different shots as a background Jedi. So what do you guys actually do? I mean, this is like, obviously we're here at night and many of you guys got have day jobs, right? Yes. So like, like what, do you, what do you do? I, I'm a graphic artist. I work from home. So um, my time is on my hands. I could just schedule it. And every night, uh, every Tuesday night, I come here and practice and train. So, so how, how, did you get, how did you get into this thing? Like, like for you, how did you become a, 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 a fight saber guy? Well, it, it started back in 2015 um, when when the hype was all around for The Force Awakens. Um, a, a group of friends of mine, uh, they were going to uh, do a group buy. They were going to order um, a big pack from of lightsabers from the US. And I joined in on that order. Okay. And they instantly asked me to join Fight Saber Philippines. And, and were you all like Star Wars fans before joining this one? Or yes. were you like a, were you like a, just a mediocre Star Wars fan? Or were you like a diehard Star Wars <laughs> fan? What were you like? Well, some of us are really like hardcore fans. Like we have massive collections at their homes. What, what, what do you have at home? Well, I just, uh, I just draw Star Wars stuff. Ah, because you're a gra like graphic draw. artist. <laughs> I see. Wait, question. Did you like The Last Jedi? I liked it. Okay, yeah. good, good. Just double, just, 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 just double checking, just double it's checking. It's a very polarizing topic. Oh, yeah, yes. but, but, but you're okay. You're, yes, you're, I'm okay with you're, it. You're okay yes. with it. So, uh, I knew that we were going to practice here today for, yeah. for Fight Saber. So, I, I brought my own sabers. Really? And I, 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 hope, I hope you like it. Okay. Let's see him. Yeah, Louis, Louis. Huh? huh? What do you think? Uh, this one, huh? <laughs> I got this. This is the Star Wars Rebel. Yes. Diba? Ezra Bridges lightsaber. That, that, yeah, whatever you said. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Dual purpose. Choo, 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 choo. Choo, choo. Sorry, chew. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. The chew, chew. But this one, this one, I like this baby over here. This goes to my my one and a half year old likes to play with this sword over here, mm -hmm. and it's reinforced with tape because my son likes to chew on his lightsaber. But then oh. it, it, it it also looks reinforced. Can 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 I use these ones for uh, the fight tonight? Well, actually, um, we use these for our kiddie birthday parties. So ah. the ones we go to, we, we hand them over to kids and for them to play with when we teach them during our Jedi Academy program. Ah, okay, so. I can't use this right now. Yeah, for us for us adults, we use something a little bit more sturdier. Ooh! We use oh. already lightsabers. Ooh, which, which one which, do you want? Which one's, which one's nicer? Yellow. Which blue. one's more dramatic? This one. Okay, okay, great. <laughs> so. You turn them on. Turn them on. This, yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Sound effect, pa! Sound effects, yes. Wow. And this one, um, is this something that, you know, you can get 
uh, off the shelf? Is it easy to get one of these uh, sabers that you have right now? Well, these are ordered online from the US, oh, but okay. you can also order them locally. Some, some people like to um, buy them in bulk, then resell it here. Okay, I see. So you can just uh, check out uh, Philippine Lightsaber Guild, Saber Store. And this was over here, these, these type of lightsabers over here. What do you call them? You call them dual, dual grade? grade lightsabers. Meaning? They can stand uh, multiple hits. Uh, multiple hits? With force. Ah, that's what men so, like. They have multiple hits with force. These are many, made, many, many I know are very dual grade. Yes. They are dual, dual grade, diba? <laughs> so these so, are made from uh, polycarbonate. A polycarbonate. Blades. So they're very sturdy and whack them Wow. Out. Yeah. And this one, I like this one because you don't have to go shoo, shoo, shoo. Yes. But this one, it's got, it's, got, it's got its own sound effects. Some right? of them have sound, some of them don't. Ah, uh, okay. Do, do you prefer with sound or without sound? I, I prefer them w without sound because they're much more sturdier when it comes to performances. Because uh, oftentimes when we, uh, when we do plenty of performances, over time, the sound chip gets uh, gets thrown out of whack, ah, okay. so it gets broken over time. Oh, I'm just curious. So the guy who was in Star Wars Episode Two, no? Yes. I'm sure that they were taught like, okay, the, the, the Jedi can only move in a specific way or specific forms, or were you guys free to make up your own <laughs> moves? Well, actually, um, for I think for the movies, they uh, they kind of adapted like real world martial arts ah, okay. to the, into their movements. They incorporated different like. Uh, Kendo or Arnis or uh, fencing, they incorporated different martial arts for the movement. Okay, so what was the first? What's the first one? Uh, the first one is Shicho. Shicho. So it utilizes the basic strikes, like uh, it's like the basic basic kenjutsu or kendo strikes, like so basic like angles, shoulders, okay, waist, like diagonal. Oh. It's like you're drawing an asterisk. And this is used in what movie? This one. Oh, well, this is used in like I would say like the Phantom Menace. Uh, they used uh, Shincho a lot, like shoulder strikes. Okay, shoulder strikes like this one. Okay, the yeah. second the second type is uh, Makashi. Makashi. So, it's uh, it's what Count Dooku uses. Uh, it it kind of looks like fencing. Okay. Uh, he uses uh, single single hand single handed combat. Oh, okay. He does a lot of twirls. And with the cape, oh, with the cape. Then uh, yes. number three? Minimalist. It's Soresu. It's what Obi-Wan Kenobi likes to use. He, he's very defensive. He likes to twirl because he's parrying blaster fire. Ah, okay. So, so ganyan? Yeah. He likes oh. to twirl because he's always like blocking laser fire. Oh. Ah, I see. Then number four? You have Ataru. Ataru. They say it's the most acrobatic of all forms. And we see Jedi Master Yoda use it in Attack of the Clones. He likes to jump around while battling. Sige nga, pakita! Kind of jumping lang. Oh man! Like that. You almost look like you there right there. That, I, could, I could feel it. I could feel it, huh? So, um, can you show me the, so the basic thing when you guys start off? What, what's the first thing you should do in terms of like um, uh, in the form? The form? Uh, we usually start with the first form, which is Shicho. Feet together, saber in front. Then we step back. We put all our weight on the back leg mm -hmm. while uh, doing this in a thrust position. Wait, let me see. My, is my hand correct? Yes, like this. Okay. Then step forward, stab, stab, and then you step back again. Put it here. You're blocking, blocking. Then you're cutting. Cut the cheese. Okay. Like diagonal. Okay. Next, you step forward, and you cut diagonally the other the other way. The other way in the month. Yeah. There. Then you go for the shoulder. You block, step back, go for the shoulder. Step forward, block, go for the other shoulder. Okay. And these moves, where you came up with these basic moves, or yeah. is this something that everybody does around the world? These are like um, these are the most basic uh, movements you can do with a with a sword. I see. So I th see. These are like similar with kendo. After ah, so kendo, so it just it's an adaptation of that yeah. one over there. Well, how do you choreograph a fight? We, well, we um, we do it very slow first. At okay. First, like if I'm gonna hit here, what are you gonna do? This one here. And what are you gonna do next? You're gonna parry that. And you're gonna strike me there. And then block here. Okay. So you can, uh, I could just parry here. Then put it here. This is that right? There you go. Wow. And you can parry it up. Then. Then strike me on the on my torso. There you go. Am I? <laughs> ah. You're Darth Maul now, bitch! And so, just in case people wanna join. You guys, how can they contact you guys in, in well, the Fight Saber group? We have a Facebook page, uh, Fight Saber Philippines. Send us a message there if 
you want to join and you have a, a movie accurate costume and you have a dual grade lightsaber and you want to perform on stage like for charity and stuff. May the force be with you. Thanks so much May for joining us over here on the Titos of Manila. <laughs> Thanks so much guys.